Hmm. Okay, investigate. Stealth systems? What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. Huh. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Huh. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You're also not a fan of being nice, but okay. And, uh, captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. Isn't that exaggerating a bit? Don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Okay, Turian Spectre. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. Righteous. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a little long ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Hmm? We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. Uh. They don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Okay, that I can understand. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Yep. Kodak. I grew up on you, Prime Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy bits, Jenkins. Yeah. What's up? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. You're way too baby -faced. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Hmm. Relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. I doubt that. Um, Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Hmm. Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. Ooh. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Where are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Hey, The Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Mm. Spectres don't have any official power, though. 
Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Really? Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Seriously? Well, there are no human specters? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. Uh, We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hmm. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good specter. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. <sighs> Those are bad memories. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I. I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? Um, Spectres sound dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Hmm. All right, well, goodbye. The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Interesting. I'm trying to savor the fact that I'm not being shot at yet. Um... Nihilus? Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Um, talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Um, I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Uh -huh. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission uh -huh. is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. And I didn't need to a know. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Da uh, Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. 50,000?! Our legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is huh. Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Ooh. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Hmm. Why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Hmm. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. Fair enough. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many mm. could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? I wasn't Not going to that card, but okay. Humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. I'm starting to like we it. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. 
I only care that you can do the job. Yeah, I like you. Uh, you support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Okay. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Fair enough. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Wait, me in charge? Malice will accompany you to observe the mission. Oh, God. Um... Curiosity, Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Hmm. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Interesting. Also, I'm a little annoyed that I'm stuck in my own head again, but... Oh well. At least I'm picking what to say. Beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. You just said that. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Uh. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay, well, I guess I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. Yeah. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Ah, shit. Bring it up on screen. Nothing's ever simple. Whoa. Get down! Uh, damn. Horrible video quality, considering we're in the future, right? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need- Ooh! Why'd they all stop shooting? What the fuck was that thing? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Oh boy. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Yeah. Take us in, Joker, fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Uh, Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh, boy. Well, it was inevitable. Blah, 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 blah. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Kay. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Aww. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood, Captain. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! So wait, a captain now ranks as a commander? I don't get it. Ah. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. 
Um, good job. Okay. Hmm. Oh god, too much. Nope. Alright, what's this? Ah! There is no D-pad. What are you talking about? Whoa. Okay. Pistols. Assault rifles. Combat armor. Assault training. Soldier. Charm and intimidate. What's this? Charm option and conversation green. Huh. Okay. Well, as I learned in the world of Fallout, persuasion's a very powerful tool. Oh, jeez. You learn that... And... Yeah, that. Richard L. Chink... Please don't tell me that stands for Leroy! Here, get some training in assault rifles and better soldier training. Okay. Head to the dig site. Can do. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Hmm. Keep your guard up. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't have any. Whoa! I was just thinking about. You're not trained with any of that. I am trained with my... Lancer? Whoa! Sighted. Okay. What are those things, though? Are they enemies? People got owned, I'm assuming. Oh! Oh! Well, that sucks. Okay, hold on. Hmm. It's not one of those floating things. Alright, looks clear. Oh god, Jenkins! Ah, I'm so inaccurate. Ah! Miss! Shit! Already? Rip right through his shields. You're out of chance. Damn. He deserves a burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Shit! It did stand for Leroy! He got Leroy Jenkins! No! Game okay, Metagel and Omni Gel throughout the game by defeating enemies in opening containers. Metagel is essential to heal injuries. Omni Gel is used for decryption electronics. Okay. Well, I don't think we necessarily need stick. Stop. Stop shooting at us. Ah, I'm so inaccurate! Oh my god. Why is my... What? I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Joy. Check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, hold on. Why didn't you give me that? Oh, because we leveled up. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to increase my assault rifles accuracy. I'll do that. It's for you. I'll make you a better sentinel. Yeah. That, that'll do. I hope. Okay, so I can give you orders. Go over there. 
Oh, shit. I didn't know that would actually happen. Still got garbage accuracy. Ugh. Alright, come on. I still feel bad about Jenkins. 